Hi, Gamescom 2023 has once again provided us with a plethora of trailers. However, there are not that many truly interesting projects. I managed to attend the most popular gaming expo in Cologne, and in this video, I will tell you about the most promising games that will be released in the near future. Let's start with Starfield. Bethesda is making every effort to fuel interest in their new game. However, at Gamescom, the publisher decided to showcase a cinematic trailer instead of gameplay footage, which doesn't give us any real idea about Starfield's release. The game will be available on September 6th, and if you've pre-ordered the Deluxe Edition, you'll be able to play it from September 1st. Homeworld 3. The developers, who promised to release the third installment of the famous space strategy series this year, have decided to push the release to 2024 in order to refine the game. Just like in the initial announcement, the project looks mesmerizing, massive fleets, swarms of small ships and battles, and the beauty of space. The renowned series has received an excellent continuation with impressive visuals and epic battles. Little Nightmares 3 Publisher Bandai Namco presented the trailer for the third part of the game. Now there are two characters in the game, allowing players to confront childhood fears in cooperative mode with a friend for the first time in the franchise's history. There will also be an option for solo play, where the second character will be controlled by artificial intelligence. The project will be released in 2024, and it's worth noting that a completely different set of developers is creating this sequel. Alan Wake 2. Very little new gameplay was shown, and the game's release was pushed to October 27, raising concerns about its technical state. The developers are striving to make the sequel appealing to both series fans and new gamers. Since the launch of the original game, 13 years have passed. The trailer showcases Bright Falls locations and ritual killing episodes. The developers confirmed that the sequel transforms the series into a full-fledged survival horror. Black Myth Wukong, the Souls-like game based on the mythological tale of the Monkey King, after a long silence, has been showcased again. In the fresh trailer, the game's science team demonstrated battles against various creatures from Chinese mythology. For instance, one of the bosses is a terrifying blood-bathing tiger. To defeat all these formidable opponents, the Chosen One will wield a staff and employ spells. No new release details were shared by the developers. It seems the game is still preparing for a potential release in the summer of 2024. Mortal Kombat 1 The Mortal Kombat universe continues to evolve, and this time, a trailer for the upcoming game, set to be released on September 19th, has been revealed. As expected, the new game represents a sort of reboot for the series, taking place in a reborn universe created by the God of Fire, who ultimately emerged victorious in Mortal Kombat 11. According to the developers, we can expect an entirely new story featuring familiar characters. Killing Floor 3 The trailer for the third installment of the cooperative shooter about hunting mutants and zombies surely pleased Quake fans. The game's style has become so similar to its ancient ancestor that the shooter mechanics have reached a new level, and the graphics have greatly improved. The exact release date for the game has not been announced yet. Crimson Desert Remember Black Desert from the Korean developers? This time, they've departed from MMOs and introduced a large single-player game with numerous mechanics, puzzles, and impressive visual solutions. Horse drifting, gliding with a glider, pole vaulting over obstacles, solving spatial puzzles, and constructing ancient structures in the sky reminiscent of the Legend of Zelda. And these are just some of the mechanics showcased in the trailer. The release is planned by the end of 2023. Payday 3. The new game trailer revealed practically nothing except for odd and even poor graphics. 
Payday 2 was, at its time, a beautiful and detailed game, but the third installment has significantly lost ground. The lack of shadows and object shading is glaring, and wooden animations of enemies and NPCs remain unresolved. Hopefully, the cooperative shooter will turn out to be excellent. In any case, the final judgment can be made upon its release on September 21st. Call of Duty Modern Warfare 3 The game will continue the storyline of the Modern Warfare series reboot, with the first part released in 2019. There isn't much information available about the game yet, but a new gameplay trailer showcases everything we love about this series, complemented by cutting-edge graphics. The project will offer a story campaign, multiplayer, and a zombie mode. In October, there will be two beta tests, the first starting on October 6th, and the second on the 12th. Assassin's Creed Mirage Ubisoft has strongly hinted at the historical nature of the new Assassin's Creed, returning to the roots of the series by showcasing covert infiltration into a palace and target hunting. It looks beautiful and very promising. We'll play as a young Basim, who was one of the main characters in the Assassin's Creed Valhalla storyline. The new trailer sheds more light on the protagonist's motivation and showcases the beauty of Baghdad. The release is expected on October 5th. Nightingale, a promising game about traveling between portals will be released in early access on February 22, 2024. It's an online survival game set in a Victorian fantasy setting. The project allows players to explore and study the realms of fairies alone or with friends, populated by fantastical creatures, engage in crafting, and build estates and manors. According to the plot, due to the collapse of the secret portal network, players are stranded away from their home world and are searching for a way back. Lords of the Fallen. The developers showcased an atmospheric trailer, introducing several enemies that players will have to defeat in the game. The game takes place simultaneously in two worlds. If we believe the developers, it will be a Souls-like game in the best traditions of the genre, exploring interconnected locations and battling diverse enemies, including bosses. The character's appearance, abilities, and equipment can be customized. Optional online co-op for two players is supported, the game will be released on October 13th. Expeditions A Mudrunner Game The creators of SnowRunner have unveiled their next game about conquering off-road terrain. Players will once again explore a vast map using different vehicle models. Additionally, they will have a flying drone with a camera at their disposal. The release is expected in 2024 on all current platforms. Grand Blue Fantasy Relink. This is an action RPG based on the popular Grand Blue franchise, which includes a series of games and anime. In the game, players will lead a squad of four fighters, switching between them like in classic JRPGs. There will be a total of 10 or more playable characters. The game features an anime style with incredibly appealing models and high-quality artwork. It's known that besides the single-player campaign, there will also be multiplayer, where players will battle bosses in the company of other players. Banishes Ghosts of New Eden This is a narrative-driven action role-playing game about two ghost hunters, where player decisions will have various consequences. From the preview shown, it's known that the game will take approximately 20 to 30 hours to complete. In addition to monster battles, players will encounter environment-related puzzles and a narrative that will depend on their choices. During the game, players can switch between Red and his ghostly spouse Antia, using different abilities in combat and solving puzzles. Anatria The Last Song 
an action RPG in the style of Souls set in a fantasy world based on Italian folklore and culture. The universe was a story woven by reality itself until a group of extraordinary individuals used the power of storytelling to record it on paper, creating the Canavaccio. Since then, the world of Anatria has deteriorated, turning into an empty yet beautiful shell. In the game, players will take on the role of someone born outside of Canavaccio, whose power might hold the key to resisting an impending curse. Warhammer Space Marine 2. This is a sequel to the story-driven action game set in the Warhammer universe, taking place years after the original game. Space Marine 2 once again puts players in the role of an ultramarine Space Marine Titus, but this time the main antagonists are a completely different faction. In Space Marine 2, the Space Marines are up against the Tyranids. It's been revealed that the story campaign can be played both solo with AI companions and in a cooperative mode for three players, with endless replayability options. Daymare 1994 Sandcastle, a third-person perspective story-driven horror game that will surely appeal to fans of games like Resident Evil. In this project, players will follow the adventures of Special Agent Delilah Reyes. They'll have to wander through the corridors of a scientific research center, eliminate bloodthirsty enemies using powerful weapons, uncover terrifying secrets, and survive in eerie conditions. Players will also have the chance to solve various puzzles, find collectibles, admire the beauty of the Unreal Engine 4, and encounter enemies capable of rising from the dead. Ada Tainted Soil This game visually and gameplay-wise resembles Hyper Light Drifter, featuring random generation of locations and events. Notable features of the game include the ability to explore a large and secret-filled game world. Engage in battles with numerous and behaviorally diverse monsters and other adversaries that require player attentiveness. Encounter intriguing characters with their own stories, which evolve as the plot unfolds. The opportunity for various paths in developing your character's abilities. A crafting system for various potions from items collected while exploring locations. A constantly changing world that keeps you on your toes. That's all thank you for watching, the Image Game channel was with you, have a good day.